Hello, my name is Kristen Falkenberg, and I am summarizing uh, my transportation costs for a female sport and a young men's sport. Uh, so, uh, first of all, talking to my transportation director for extracurricular activities at the Lee Summit um, R7 School District. Uh, they talk about into the window, out of the window, which I'll talk about in just a sec. And it's a per hour, per mile situation. So the per mile is the same, but if we're outside the window, it increases from $30 to $45. Um, so a few definitions or terms. They talk about educational routes, uh, bus routes that get students to and from school. Uh, so uh, that helps define in the window and out of the window, although window means in between two things, but really, um, if you don't mess with any educational routes, meaning a bus driver could complete their route and then head to the high school to pick up uh, the students for the event or athletes for the event, uh, then it doesn't count as outside the window. If you leave within, uh, I guess basically after 9 a.m. and return before 2 p.m., uh, you are considered in the window. Uh, so, but if an uh, event leaves early, there's a lot of events that you leave early, football teams leave early, um, softball teams, tennis teams, uh, baseball teams, uh, golf for sure. Um, if they leave close to that time that uh, bus drivers are trying to pick students up for school or to take them home, uh, considered outside the window. Uh, so uh, essentially, I chose wrestling and girls soccer and basically because there's typically lit stadiums, soccer's usually on the main football field, uh, and wrestling is indoor, uh, there are no need, uh, there is no need uh, for outside the window. So I did a standard rate of $30 uh, per hour. Um, some breakdowns as far as categories that I did time and distance for, um, from the bus barn to the high school, uh, loading period of the athletes, I typically chose, well, I just chose 30 minutes, didn't know. Uh, Lee Summit North uh, to the opponent's location, so I went on Google Maps, and it gave me approximate time and, approx and distance based on the most convenient route. Uh, I usually just rounded up. I didn't go to any, like, fives or tens, just to whole numbers. Um, time for the bus driver to wait. I talked to several parents. My sister is a mother of a soccer player. Uh, and uh, one of my very good friends is the mother of a wrestler, so probably why I chose the events. Uh, and at the same time, uh, pretty accurate as far as the timing if the bus driver's staying during the event. And then the return trip back to Lee Summit North, unloading the students, uh, returning to the bus barn, and then proce process timing, uh, processing time. And I, I basically included when they get to work, check in, time in, get their routes, do their safety inspection, to take off for the trip, come home, clean the bus, process the, the trip, check out, and so on. So I just assumed it was 30 minutes. I'm not sure if it's any more than that. Uh, from here, other things. Again, I assumed they were in the window. Uh, and then, uh, honestly, uh, there are tournaments on Saturdays for wrestling, uh, sometimes soccer tournaments also. But I didn't see any on the regular season, as, you know, as far as weekends. And if it's the same driver versus a split trip, and I'll show that in the guys' wrestling summary. And then as far as time is concerned, back in my engineering days, time was more valuable than the material itself. Uh, so I just added a time factor of 1.25. Uh, this is a summary for the boys' wrestling. It's estimated. Uh, uh, you'll see the attached spreadsheet of the details as far as wait time, uh, time per event. I usually did two hours for wrestling and three hours for soccer since they're same field and two, JV and varsity. Wrestling, you can have two mats going uh, and they go pretty quick is what I've heard. Uh, anyway, so I identified in red the split trips. They actually show up in green. I guess I should have kept that color the same but I identified it here as far as split trips. And then I tried to indicate the average. Did I do that? Oh, dang it. I didn't do that right. Well, 260 right around here. Um, really, I think that trip to um, Bonner Springs uh, really threw off the numbers. I did a quick, um, what would it cost if the driver stayed 
the whole time. And honestly, for uh, maybe a six hour tournament is what I estimated, uh, it was right around the same cost uh, per trip. So, and then here are the ladies, a little more uniform, less distance traveled. Uh, and uh, again, I didn't split any trips because they weren't there longer than the events. They were after school, and so a little more uniform. Uh, and then the average about 287, and that's accurate. So uh, interesting activity. Uh, definitely got a little overwhelmed thinking about the postseason and state trips. I remember going to Springfield uh, for state uh, basketball tournament the day before, and then the practice day or warm-up day or prelim days. Uh, and then the state finals and how the bus driver basically was there the whole time because they had to drive us to and from the events or out to dinner, or out to lunch or whatever. So, um, yeah, interesting assignment. Thank you for that. And I hope that helps.